Welcome back to the AB Scale Project. I'm Gregor. This is Off Bravo. And today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the GoBots. Now, the GoBots came out about the same time as the Transformers. There's been some accusation back and forth of who copied off who, but I really think the truth lies with the Japanese were into robots. I was into robots in the 80s. And they just made a bunch of robot toy lines and they were imported into the States. And Hanna-Barbera got the GoBots, or the Machine Robo, that became GoBots. And Hasbro got the Takara Diaclone, which became the Transformers. They both aired about a week apart of each other. So, and in Hollywood terms, you know, it, the production probably started in 82 when they aired in 84. So there probably wasn't really a lot of chance to copy off of each other. So... Kind of, two studios had the same idea that just came out around the same time. So, but anyway, back to GoBots. <laughs> there were, besides all the Transformers homages or name usages, there are really just two main lines. The original GoBots line and the Action Toys Machine Robo line. Which, this is actually a really good line of toys. They're a little pricey, I mean, that's why I only have the Leader 1. But they're still solid toys. And we'll bring in our human representative there. And we show that, and I'll put up the Hanna-Barbera scale chart, and you see, yeah, actually the uh, Action Toys line is, is actually it's chug accurate. So, yeah, if, if you just want to grab the uh, Action Robo stuff, it's pretty good. And actually some of the original... GoBots lines are still within that same range. Of course, you can also like use like Combiner Wars Groove here and repaint it as a scooter type of thing. But yeah, those things you do. So for the most part, for the GoBots that has been covered, of course, it's very limited because their line got cut short. But the action toys are actually pretty good. We just want to run into one problem. <laughs> I've already kind of set a precedent <laughs> so far. So both the lines are kind of short for to be aesthetically matching the rest of the Transformers chug. So you look at these and you're like, okay, with my arbitrary rule of, you know, leader characters need to be at least Voyager, the action toys leader one is too small. So you're going to have to find a Voyager version or, you know, just make yourself a custom. So for the most part, you know, that's what I've done. I've just gone through and made customs. Like here's my custom small foot kind of took the cues from the original toy and repainted it to get here. I used a drag strip head, a rid 2015 strong arm body and i had made this actually some time ago but the hip snap the mushroom peg at the hip to the torso snapped so i was like okay just tossed it in the bin for a little while until i got a junker strong arm and then the hips on that one broke <laughs> so i wound up just driving taking this whole thing apart driving a screw through the top and making that the new mushroom peg but hey but now she's good and you know, the hips work fine, and it's all good. So, just uh, in conclusion for GoBots, you want the correct chug scale, get the action toys. If you want the aesthetically matching the Transformers line, you are pretty much got to do customs for everything that they haven't already done new figures of, like, crasher or psych hill here but anyway thanks for joining us today on the abs scout project if there's a character you'd like to see put your request in the comments below and uh let me know what you think about these versus lines and also let me know if you'd like to see my customs process how i go through that and what i do for all these so let me know down in the comments but like this video share it with your friends Ring that bell, and I'll see y'all later.